tradition. My father was a cantor, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, uh, the whole family, the uncles, they all sang. Uh, and it's carried on in my family as well. My children all sing, my grandchildren sing. And uh, I guess it's in the genes. We sang at home. I sang in the school choir, I sang in my father's choir uh, when he uh, officiated in the synagogue. And uh, as a matter of fact, I used to sit in class and sing when I was in school. I always think to myself, even today, when I walk in the street, I sing, I, I always think to myself. <laughs> in our tradition that, for instance, when you sit and study the Talmud, you study it with a certain melody. Everybody who reads without the melody, it's not a very good sign. In the synagogue, the services we sing, there are certain modes, certain moduses that we use for the prayers, whereas everything's expressed by song. So singing is, is, is a matter of Jewish life, and it's directly connected. In Halakha, in the Jewish law, there always was a shaliach tzibur, which means a representative of the community who would lead the services. But probably wasn't in the form that we know today of the cantor. That's around for a few hundred years, where uh, the cantor actually leads the whole service and he sings his big major compositions and stuff. Cantors perform funerals, memorials, dinners uh, for different institutions and uh, organizations. We perform on Hanukkah, we perform on Purim, we perform on many, many different functions. Bar mitzvahs, britot, tabris. We're always called uh, whenever there's any uh, uh, in private homes. We're, we're always invited to, to perform. The way it used to be in years years ago in Europe, they would have like one cantor per town. The cantor would also be the shoichet, he would also be the mohel. He'd also do many other things, many other jobs, because there were small shtetl, small towns where they couldn't afford to hire different people for the different uh, for the different tasks, and they would hire the one person who could fulfill many of them. So it was like a combined effort where a chazan would be the chazan, it would also be the shochet, it would be the mohel, be maybe the teacher with the children and study with them, and then performed many other practices in the community that had to be done.